I want to give you a little more detail and just let you see what's happening as we head into the fall. Guys, the fall is upon us. You can feel it in the air. Uh, we're really moving into the fall now. School is starting up this week. And in just two weeks, we are going to be back to in-person services at Hope Church in Mississauga. Yes! If you could hear the cheering here in the studio right now. Uh, I hope that we're hearing it from you as well at home today. We're really excited. It's going to be at 4 o'clock in the afternoon at Hope Church in Mississauga. We're going to have a full kids program, age zero all the way up through grade eight. We are going to have classes available. We're going to have live worship, in-person worship. Isn't that exciting? We're going to be worshiping together. And of course, we will be following COVID protocols uh, as long as we need to be doing that while we're at Hope Church this fall. We won't be live streaming the service, but there will be an online service available. I want you to be aware of that. For those who can't make it out in person, it will be the same message, just pre-recorded. There will be pre-recorded worship as well and other elements to it, but you can check that out uh, if you're not able to make it. Some people shouldn't be coming out yet due to health concerns. Let's just be honest about that. And, you know, you people know who you are, and you should take care of yourself as you're going through this time. Others are just not comfortable to meet in public yet, and we get that. So we're going to continue to have those online services available. But here's the thing. Everyone else, we expect to see you there. We want to see you there at Hope Church at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, regardless of what campus you're coming from. Now, Hebrews 10... 1025 actually reminds us, let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another. I can tell you that this verse has taken on like new meaning for me during this pandemic. I really appreciate, you know, the ability to meet together like I never have before in my life. And so guys, people here need your encouragement. I know sometimes we, we think about our natural way is to think about what am I getting when I go to church, but I want you to think about how can you be encouraging people as you go to church. People need you. They want to see you and interact with you. So come out thinking specifically about how you can encourage people when you're coming out to Renew Church. And that's the first thing I want to say here today. I want everyone to be an encourager this fall. Everyone, just be an encourager. Uh, we've had so much negativity over the last couple of years, not just with COVID, but with all kinds of other crazy things going on. Let's just enjoy being together. Let's just build each other up. Let's laugh and enjoy each other's company. Isn't this going to feel good? This is what we need to do this fall. So let's everyone be an encourager for our brothers and sisters as we get together. Secondly, I want everyone to be excited about what's taking place. Now guys, listen, I understand that 4 p.m., in the afternoon is probably not everyone's preferred time for when to get together for a church meeting, okay? I understand that some people are gonna have to travel a few minutes longer than they're used to doing each Sunday, but this isn't a permanent plan. It's our plan until Christmas time. It's not that long. It's gonna go by pretty quickly. And I expect everyone who calls Renew Church their home to make their best effort to be there. It may require leaving the house 15 to 20 minutes earlier than you're used to doing. It may require adjusting your schedule for the next few months. It may require getting younger children on a different schedule for the next few months. But guys, we can do this. Trust me, people have suffered through a lot worse in order to meet with their Christian brothers and sisters at church. True? Yeah. People have done a lot worse, you know, to have to go through that to, to be together for church. This is not that hard. Uh, hey, did I mention that there's virtually no equipment to haul? I can, I can hear the cheers for that all over the place. There is virtually no equipment to haul uh, because they have everything we need over there at Hope Church. A few little things that we'll be bringing for the kids program and stuff, but no trailer to pull, right? I can see the smiles on so many people's faces. Um, we are incredibly blessed, guys, to be able to use this space and to be able to meet together again. And so this fall format is going to actually enable us to accomplish a few things. I want you to be clear on this. First, it gives us a chance to regather all right? That's the first word, regather. We can see each other again and just kind of see who's still here because some people have moved away. Just give everyone a chance to get together again and to see each other face to face. So that's the first thing. The second thing it lets us do is it lets us review what rental facilities are going to become available, what the situation is going to be when we get to January and what we can do in our own campuses. You know, right now the schools aren't even open, like they're not renting. So we have to kind of figure out what spaces are going to be available. This gives us some time just to review what our options are. And then thirdly, it gives us time to regroup, to prepare for doing ministry again in our campuses in January, Lord willing. Now, our prayer, that's what it is, that by January we'll be able to hit the ground running at all of our different campuses. 
But of course, we've learned during COVID to hold our plans in a very open hand because we know that that can change. But that's what we're looking forward to. That's what we're planning. And the format that we're using this fall really helps us to be able to move in that direction effectively. Three of our, uh, uh, three of our four campuses will be meeting together. Cambridge will not be meeting with us because it's quite a distance for them to travel. Uh, but they have an, a wonderful space at a place called the Galt Collective, which is enabling them to meet every Sunday together. And they're going to continue to uh, see that campus grow there. So we're really excited about that. But I just want to remind everyone again, let's just be encouragers this year, this fall as we're getting together and really get excited. The third thing, I want everyone to get involved. You heard Pastor Andrew talk about it. There are opportunities available. Everyone has gotten a pretty nice break from ministry over the last year and a half, close to two years, right? Pretty good break from ministry. So we want you to know that was not ever intended to be permanent, right? We need people to come back and to serve. Now, here's a fact. One of the biggest things that we've missed, we talk about so many things that we've missed during COVID. Do you know one of the biggest things that we've missed? We've missed the opportunity to serve one another. And it's so important. It's so valuable. You know, a big part of your Christian life is serving other people, and it's healthy when you serve. It's unhealthy when you're not serving your brothers and sisters in Christ. And so, this is an essential part of our lives as followers of Jesus. Serving is good for your soul. And so as we come back together this fall, we need everyone to participate, everyone. Because we're together, we have more hands to serve so we can do rotations. We don't have to serve every week, which is a great thing. You know, if everybody chips in and does their part, you know, every, everyone signs up for something, you know, maybe once or twice a month is all you'll have to do and everything will get taken care of. As it was mentioned, Renew Kids, I want you to know that Genevieve Amaral from our Mayfield West campus is going to be overseeing our entire kids ministry, and uh, she is recruiting people now. You need to get in touch with Genevieve, get in touch with us, use the website. Let us know that you will help out with our kids. Listen, guys, our kids are our most precious asset at Renew Church. It is the highest level of ministry that you can do to serve a child. They have their whole life in front of them. They haven't made mistakes yet, right? Few, right? A few. But they have their whole life in front of them. This is the goal that we have at our church. Serve a kid, you will be a blessing in, in ways that just are unexplainable. So Genevieve Amaral is overseeing that. As you heard, Denise Gervais is overseeing our fit team, ushers, greeters, coffee, signage, all of that stuff. Uh, worship, Elizabeth Rada. If you are interested in worship, you have to, you have to audition to be able to you know, participate with the worship team, but we would love to have people audition. You can connect with Elizabeth. The tech team, of course, it's Eric Russell who was over that. And Barb Mangi always has some different administrative responsibilities that can be given out as well. If you want to help out, just go to our website. And if you go to the website, um, go to News and Events, Renew Reopening, and then there's a little button there, Volunteer to Serve. Just click on that and let us know that you can help out. The more people who chip in, the more that we have to rotate so you'll get more of a break in between. And if everyone does a little, there won't be a few people that get stuck doing a whole lot, okay? Just to wrap it up, guys, for now, uh, we do still need you to sign up on the website. COVID protocols are requiring that still at this point, and uh, Hope Church itself is following that, so we're going to do the same thing as we're meeting there. Uh, so go online. That's going to be up very soon where you can register to be there. Plan to arrive a little bit early because of the COVID protocols and getting the kids into the kids' programs if you have children. We're starting the fall with a series that's related to winning the battle of your mind. We think this is really appropriate for what everyone's been going through with all of the anxiety and so on that COVID has created. We're going to talk about winning the battle of your mind. So get ready for that. And we will see you there in two weeks. Get excited.